Our discussion will encompass what scabies is, its modes of transmission, the pathogenesis of the condition, the various types of scabies, and treatment options. Scabies is a skin ailment resulting from an infestation by mites belonging to the Sarcoptes scabiae species. The risk factors for scabies transmission include overcrowding, where the presence of numerous individuals can facilitate the spread of the condition. The primary mode of transmission is through direct and prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact, making casual contact less likely to transmit scabies. Fomites, such as furniture, can also play a role in transmission. These mites can survive on surfaces for about 1 to 1.5 days without a host. Typically, the signs and symptoms of scabies are caused by female mites. They secrete proteolytic enzymes, enabling them to enter the skin's epidermal layer and lay 2 to 3 eggs daily for about 4 to 6 weeks until they perish. The hatching of these eggs within 3 to 4 days perpetuates the infestation cycle, resulting in the manifestation of signs and symptoms. Moving on to the signs and symptoms of scabies, it's important to note that there are two main types, classic scabies and crusted scabies. Classic scabies is characterized by the appearance of small erythematous papules that resemble knots on a rope. It is accompanied by severe pruritus, which tends to worsen at night. The distribution of classic scabies typically affects the webs of the fingers, the axilla, the areola, and the genitalia. On the other hand, crusted scabies, also known as Norwegian scabies, is less common and primarily occurs in individuals with weakened immune systems. It has a higher mite burden and is more likely to be transmitted via fomites. Crusted scabies predominantly affects the hands, feet, and scalp. Diagnosis of scabies can be made through microscopy to identify mites and eggs, but clinical diagnosis is often sufficient. Once diagnosed, treatment options include topical permethrin and ivermectin. Additionally, if you haven't already, consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.